I got this solar motion sensor light sent to me to test out and give my honest opinion of the product. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box, check out all the pieces and use it. It comes with a pretty nice solar panel. So here's a pretty good long cable that comes off the back that this would attach to the light itself. This is the back of the panel. It does come with a mount where you can mount this to wherever you want to put it and these little thumb screws here to allow you to loosen it and tighten it by hand. This is the other side of the solar panel. I mean, it's a pretty nice little panel. So I'm going to set this aside. And here is the pendulum light itself. So as you can see, here's the LED lights. There's these little plastic bubbles. It looks like to kind of disperse the light out. There's a motion sensor here. This is actually an on and off switch where I could actually turn it on and very, very bright. And it's got these little meters here. It looks like, and then it goes to kind of a low setting and the motion sensor kicks it off from low to high. I'm going to turn that off. So that's the light. Then it comes with a bag that has mounting hardware in it, but also a set of batteries that you can use with the remote. It comes with a couple pretty heavy duty zip ties and an owner's manual. So let's go ahead and take this out and get it mounted. All right, so right now I'm actually out in the shed that's in the back corner of our property that does not have lights in it. We don't have electricity to this little shed, but let me show you how this thing works. This thing is really bright. So I just press the on button. There's a bunch of different modes and motion modes and brightness modes. Like here you can dim it. Here you can make it brighter. There's auto modes. There's length of time modes, like two hours, four hours, six hours. What I love about this one is, is it's got these four lights right here and they're adjustable. So if I need more light in one area, I can lean it more toward one area. But if I want to like, like these lights are going to the sides of the shed over here, that lights it up really well. And then this light back here is lighting up the back where we have some pool floats. and some cushions that go on some of our outdoor furniture. So this light really lights this up well, and I'm sure it's gonna look even better at night. Let me show you what I did with the solar panel to keep this battery charged. So right now I just have the panel situated up here. I'm gonna actually screw it in and mount it, but this panel is now getting full exposure from the sun. As you can see, look at the shadows when you're mounting a solar panel, go out in the middle of the day, which this is somewhat the middle of the day. It's sun's up high and you can see where your shadows are. So what you want is your solar panel to be facing directly to the sun. That's when you're going to get the best amount of energy out of your solar panel. So with this one facing that direction, I need to angle it up just a little bit and then I'm going to mount it into place. But this should get more than enough sun exposure to keep that battery charged up and topped off. This makes for a really economical way to light up a storage building or a shed that is not hooked up to your electricity. This is awesome. Two thumbs up from me. This thing's putting out way more light than I ever expected. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.